Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. We have the money we need. Let's just be clear about that. We have the money needed to buy our way onto the expedition into the Deep Roads. But I'm not sure if we can actually go and do that quite yet because we have side quests to do and it seems like maybe... Uh, maybe we need to complete some of those for it to allow us the plot to proceed, you know what I mean? Hey, look who it is. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Indeed. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? Pride usually hasn't been my downfall. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine, anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. I got some rivalry out of Aveline there. Because we're dealing with a criminal here. That's. Probably what it is. <laughs> Aveline being a city guard and whatnot. What makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them. <laughs> I don't remember the pause screen when I need to. Actually, you know what? This fight wasn't all that tough. I didn't really need to do that. Oh, wait, there's more. Nice. And, of course, there are more. Thank you. I thought them coterie men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade. Just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here. But they did. Is that Athenrail's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15, but I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horned darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? 
Most farmers will always take extra hands for the field, or girls for the kitchen. My father was a farmer, before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Fenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us. Ah, uh, got some Aveline friendship back out of that one. But, uh... I don't imagine we're gonna get paid for this job. Yeah, except for the shit that I stole off of dead bodies. Yeah, I'm not giving you anything. Oh, where am I? Oh, shit. Uh, air. Well, are you here to socialize, or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie. I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Yeah, screw you. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. Oh, it's so lovely. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Ha ha ha. Okay, we, got, we have a quest marker up here. Put you to use, Farrick. Have you penned some warnings for the lawless? Who's that for? The most criminals, big readers. Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. Thank you. I get the point. I don't think I can do that. Okay, the quest... I, I should have paid attention to the doors. I can only get through back here. This place seems a little uh, shitty. <laughs> I heard you lost something. This it? You found this? I don't know what to say. Uh, okay. Guess there's nothing else to do in here. What else can we get into before I end this episode? Gots to go to the gallows. There are a lot of friggin' criminals. Oh, was Trask the guy I had to do it with? Alright, I guess so. We have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. 
My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out anymore. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Got all sorts of friendship out of that. Especially out of Meryl. Probably because I was dealing with a mage. I should have completed that quest a while ago, but, um... Uh, whatever. What else can we do? The first enchanter has marked... Ah, welcome, my dear friend. Nice comb over. My name is Solivitus. Please, take a look around. And my apologies in advance. Our shelves are a bit bare at the moment. Actually, if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. <laughs> remedy that? Potion shop. <laughs> you, my good man, are priceless. The pun wasn't intentional, although I may use that next time. It's been too dangerous to leave the city of late, and the substances I require for my creations are, of course, elsewhere. Uh, perhaps you could find them. You'll be compensated for your time, have no fear. I'll also give you first pick of my new creations. Make up a list of what you need, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Perfect. A discount on everything in the shop, Sirrah. Yeah, it's just a little, um, it's not like a story quest or anything like that. That's just little things that you do while you're out. Find crap, whatever. Anything else we can do? We'll only add 12 minutes. Uh, I could do the Deep Roads Expedition, but I'll have to do that in the next episode because it's taking too long now. Bait and switch. Of course, you know, nothing's going to go right here. We're going to have to go and kill some stuff. Bad people come out at night. It would be good to get rid of them. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. <laughs> Gotta go to the alienage. Trashy part of town, and even trashier section of it. Strangely enough, not the trashiest part of the city. Why do all these gangs dress the same? Who brought Hawk back? Hawk back. It's too much. Well, they're dead. Where's their stuff? Oh, this place looks like a high-quality establishment. I don't like the looks of this. It's a lot of enemies in one place. Fortunately, when the closer they group together, the more effective this kind of attack is.
Oh, was that everyone? Well, I guess not. <laughs> Nothing in here. I couldn't hear what they were saying, but I think we fell into a trap. That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? Ah, uh, all right. Let's, uh... Oh, Tervinter Hunters. That's nice. All right, here we go. Ah, these guys are nothing. And of course, more show up. What the hell happened there? Uh, of course, those Tervinter guys love their mages. How the hell did I miss? Hmm. I mean, this wasn't on any of the people I killed, but I'll take it anyway. Well, at least that paid off. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead. And your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. I am not a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. You were responsible for this. I'm the reason you're here, yes. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. 
That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No. There's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. You lured me into a trap, and now you want my help? If Anso had told you to divert an ambush of Tevinta bounty hunters, would you have done it? It should have been my decision. Had I known of you earlier, I might have asked you personally. I had only Anso to rely on, I fear. I'm not lying to you now. Please, help me do this. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. I forgot all of that was going to happen. Or else I wouldn't have done this mission. Not in this episode, anyway. Um... Okay, I'll end the episode here. In the next episode I'll pick up. I'll go in there and finish this mission. Alright, see ya.